This was also one of my... one of our special spots. I know, Your Highness. These were the woods where you first encountered Lady Luciel. Indeed. The place where we first happened to meet. It was right over there. A large tree once stood there. And it was from behind it where Luciel poked her head out so timidly. The canopy above us was filled with the chirping of birds. I can still recall it all so vividly. But now, what happened to this land? To the forest that was once a dear memory for us? Well, uh, you see... Tell me the truth. Was it Luciel? Yes, my lord. But Lady Luciel said she did it for her own sake, she did. There were beasts that made the woods here their home, you see. Used to damage the village's fields, they did. So, you see, I, uh... You reported that to Lady Luciel? That I did. Suppose she thought that meant she could solve our woes just by getting rid of the monsters. Which was all well and good, but... While the woods might have been dangerous, the nuts and berries we gathered from there were an important source of income for us. We didn't want to lose them. Surely there were other ways of saving the village than setting fire to the woods and burning them down to ashes. One could also assume that the person tasked with the duty misinterpreted Luciel's orders and set fire to the woods. Since that is not what happened here. My king. Luciel did have a habit of losing sight of other things once she set her mind to a cause. She certainly could not see the forest for the trees at times, but to take it this far. I was commanded to attack Ovis. He said we would do it together. Perhaps, in his wisdom, he was already aware of the many tragedies Luciel had a habit of causing. Was he the real King Jaden? Or was it the imposter? <laughs> no. It matters little now. What's done is done. Let us keep moving. We shall soon be able to see Ovis Castle. Yes, Your Highness.
ざまい At last, Ovis Castle is in view. Be ready for ambushes. And do not be complacent. Pulverize the enemy with all your might until there is nothing left of them. I'll fight to the end in the end. I will fight until the very end.
無駄だ Sorry to disturb you in the midst of prayer. And who might you be? The name is Abbott. So, what were you praying for? For our world to find peace, of course. Also for the villains who disturb that peace to die a most gruesome death. Well then, I had better pray that I am not included amongst them. So, have you been assigned to stand watch over me? Is that why you are here? What would such an innocent thing as you need watching over for? Do not act the fool. You know they want to keep me away from that underground laboratory of theirs. That is news to me. Really? In that case, forget I said anything of it. Putting that aside... This chapel is indeed a thing of great beauty. Not that I had any hand in its construction, but I am glad you like it. I wish we could build something like this back in Ovis. That decides it then. Decides what, exactly? I shall ask Father to begin construction of one immediately. Which means I shall be taking my leave and heading back to Ovis now, thank you. Would you kindly hurry and prepare a carriage for my imminent departure? I'm sorry, Lucille, my dear. You know that is an impossible request. And why is that? Oh, I see. You require Gil, do you? I suppose you do look somewhat ill-financed. Why don't you talk to Father about that? Never fear. If you explain that it is a request from me, he will surely see to your needs. No, Gil is not the issue. I'll have you know. My dear Luciel, as far as the outside world is concerned, I'm afraid you are dead. Well, that's no good, is it? When did I meet my supposed demise, exactly? I am obviously very much alive. Whatever shall we do? King Oberon must surely be worrying himself sick about me. Heavens above, are you yet to hear? Your dear Oberon joined forces with Jaden to invade Ovis. There was a good chance you could have been killed as well. <laughs> Why, you make the most outrageous japes. My lord Oberon would never do such a thing. You see, he and I made promises for our future together. Well, I suppose this is the fellow who betrayed Jaden that we are talking about. 
Who is to say there won't be another dramatic turn of events leading to a rekindling between you and Oberon? Oh dear. Lord Oberon had a falling out with King Jaden, you say? I know what happened. King Jaden must have tried to come between Lord Oberon and me. That has to be it. Why, it is the only plausible explanation. King Jaden clearly must have assumed I would steal his Lord Oberon from him and fell into a fluster. But maybe, just maybe... Just maybe... what, exactly? King Jaden might also have feelings for me. Huh? Oh, this is quite the quandary. Whatever shall I do? I have already pledged my body and soul to Lord Oberon. Oh, I know. I should arrange something between King Jaden and Shalza. Yes, that would settle things nicely. You there. Would you be a darling and head over to Ovis Castle and tell my sister Shalza about this? This is a great plan. One that will make us all happy. Kindly get to it. On the double. Uh, you being serious? Why, of course I am. It is also about time that she returned my ring as well. Hmm. But I do worry that sister of mine won't be able to get anything done without it. Does that imply that you do not need it to get things done? But of course! For instance... I very much doubt I would need my ring to kill the likes of you. Is that so? I am so sorry. Did I say that out loud? Please do not think badly of me. <sighs> well, she was quite the character. And most certainly the type I would not wish to have on my side. I have a bad feeling about this. That woman gives me the holly wobbles. Scared? D don't be silly! You're just trembling with excitement before battle, right? Right? I wish I could say that were so. But if I'm being honest with you, I am scared. Unbearably so. I did not expect you to say that. It's always the case when war is upon us. Always? 
I'm not worried about losing my own life. For I stopped caring about that long ago. I worry about whether I can bring you all, who Queen Ma Sheri entrusted in my care, back home alive. Or that due to my command, I'll leave King Mond and the others and the lines behind us in a disadvantageous position. These worries always find a way to fill my head. And I don't have Ramada by my side to read the stars for us. When I listen carefully, all I hear are the footsteps of a future filled with hopelessness. Lady Lilith... But if I were to curl up into a ball and cover my ears right now, what would become of my fellow soldiers? If I were to succumb to my fear and flee, what would become of my friends I leave behind? Oh, if only I weren't in a position where everyone's futures depend on me. These things eat at me every time battle is about to begin. But still, you don't think about just stepping down from your position as commander? Oh, I do. All the time. But when I see the smiles on everyone's faces after battle, I always feel glad that I didn't leave command to someone else. I even start to think that maybe we pulled it off because I was in charge. <laughs> <sighs> of course, I know that's just me getting ahead of myself. But in war, all that matters are the results. Those who survive are the winners after all. So that's why I always stand on the front line. I won't let anyone else. I simply can't. So until the day my legs become paralyzed with fear, I shall fight. For King Mont, and for everyone's future. Well, you've won me over. <laughs> I'm honored. Back when we served Likaros, it was downright miserable. I remember it well. Glad one of us can chuckle about it. When power's considered everything, people get the wrong idea that you can rise up the ranks based on your own abilities. But what it really means is the weak are plundered or killed, and no one is allowed to argue otherwise. If your commander is stronger than you are, you don't get to disobey them. Even if that way of life repulses you at first, so long as you are on the benefiting end, you soon become corrupted by it. I certainly did my share of things I'd rather never have to tell anyone about. <sighs> Truth be told, when Likaros was routed by Rundal, part of me was relieved. I must say I agree. Not even for a moment did I consider cursing Rundal for destroying my homeland or anything remotely of the sort. I am just blessed that I was able to meet Queen Mashuri. Although that Engelbert fellow is so inflexible it drives me up the castle walls at times. <laughs> I think we can all relate to that. We may be at an overwhelming disadvantage here. But it almost feels good, doesn't it? Going into battle with our chests full of pride like this. We shall show them that Horn's 3rd Division Simpaturn is a force to be reckoned with! <sighs> here they come. Stay strong. 
遠慮はしないいけるかマイフェンス I'll fight to the end of the game I will fight until the very end 我こそ古代史の血あらがってみろどうしてもやる元気出てきた My blade shall soon. I think not. Let us end this. I think not.
駄だお前には誰も守れない遠慮はしない。無理はするな。ダイス。我こそ古代史の恐れるのか。どうしてもやる。元気出てきた。I'll fight to the end. Back to mercy. I will fight until the very end.
刻む Let us end this. I think not. Hmm. <laughs> We've got company. Yeah. Camillo. So, we meet on the battlefield yet again. I do not regret to tell you this, but we penetrated your front line with great ease. <laughs> I had them hold back. I can't have you using them as your excuse for when you lose to me here, you know. Impudent as always, I see. I see remnants of Likaros' army amongst your troops. Did you really think such a slipshod mob could stop the likes of Heindler? You never know unless you try. And to think we gave you the chance to walk away last time. The defender of the downtrodden never walks away from anything. Mm. You have no idea what kind of training I've been through since you last saw me. Elzarel here is a heartless taskmaster, you know? Her relentless special training wasn't just blood, sweat, and tears. It was actual blood spraying all over the place. This slave driver doesn't know the meaning of going easy. The number of times she cut right into me. Do you understand now? 
It's the stuff of nightmares! So if I walk away from you lot, the only thing waiting for me will be more countless days of that living hell! Even if I wanted to back down, I just can't! Ow! Oh, jeez! What was that for? For blabbering on too much. See what I mean? Then let us spare you of that living hell. You can die knowing that you sided with an incompetent leader. Incompetent leader? You don't happen to mean Mont now, do you? And what if I do? Cat soups. You really have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Excuse me? I'll give you a friendly warning, seeing as we're old acquaintances and all. If you can't tell what's so special about him, then you're still grunts yourselves. <clears throat> Enough of your prattling! Heindler never forgives traitors.
れでいい<笑>いただきますえへいもう止まらないから。You're mine. Well done. We stand together, victorious. <笑>